So here we have a basic three-point lighting setup. This is a character that I created um, that we're going to see throughout this training course. And the uh, the three-point lighting setup is a pretty common uh, setup, not only in the CG world but in the film and photography world as well. And it's basically you start off with you have three lights. You have a key, a key light, a fill light, and then a rim light. So you can see in this uh, render that I took that we've got uh, we've got the key light on his right side or camera right. We've got our fill down on the left side, and then we've got um, the the rim light um, on the top of his head and on top of his armor. So if I go ahead and hide these two lights, and we can just focus one light at a time. So I'm going to save this, and then we'll go ahead and render this. All right, um, so I had to switch the camera. I had the camera in the wrong spot, but you can see that with just the key light, um, how it starts to deform, uh, not deform, but define <coughs> um, all these edges, and it gives us some nice contrast to the darks and the white sides of the of the model. So you don't want, in in general, you want the key light to be at around a 45 degree angle, anywhere. Um, more closer than that then it'll start to just flatten out the image so it's usually good to keep it around this angle even you can even go even more um, harsh of an angle but the point of the point is to keep is to have that nice um, contrast you know behind the nose and you, get, you really sculpt the model so that's the that's uh, the main purpose of the key light and this is going to be the brightest light because this is where you want you know the focus light to, to be so let's go ahead and uh, turn on the next one, which is the fill. Unhide that. And we'll take another render. Okay, so with the fill light, it's mainly used for uh, kind of filling in those completely black areas. You don't want it to be completely black, but it's really for, yeah, that's what it's for. And that's what it's called, the fill light. And it fills in kind of the sockets of the eyes that are, you know, in darkness and kind of gives you a more overall light. But right now you can see how it doesn't really fill everything especially the top and that's really what the point of the rim light is for so as we um, go ahead and unhide that and take another render all right so you can see how the that rim light paints this little thin hairline around the the character and this really helps him from stand out from the the blackness of the background and well even if he's in a set it'll help him stand out from the set and kind of put him more uh, in focus or front and center. So that's basically the three-point lighting setup. And if I were to go to my other camera, you can see kind of how that's set up. I use area lights just to give kind of a soft shadow, but um, you can use spotlights or any kind of light that you see fit. But for this instance, since he's got that hand in the way, it was it was, produ it was producing a really hard shadow on his, on his body. So that's why I decided to use um, some nice soft area lights. Also, um, with this, if I were to come in closer to his face and take an, a take a quick render, right, let me save this. All right, so we've taken a render of his head, and the first thing you notice is that some of that rim light bleeds through. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and need to turn a shadow on for that rim light. So for the purpose of this, I'll just go ahead and just turn on ray tracing. But not only that, is his eyes, they really don't have any life in them. And a lot of times, um, lighters will put fake uh, specular highlights within their eyes. And to do this, uh, I like to use a point light. And let me go to another camera real quick. <coughs> and with this point light, we can set it up so that we can fake those reflections or those specular highlights. And to do this, we're going to need to. Uh, but uh, we don't want the light to affect everything else, so we're going to go ahead and light link it. And we don't want it to give it more light. We just want that specular. So let's turn off the fuse. And we're also going to turn off eliminates by default. So right now, this light is not affecting anything. But we're going to want to light link it. So let's go to rendering. And then we'll go down to lighting and shading, light linking editor. And then we'll go ahead and just choose object centric for now. And we want to select uh, this eye these eyeball groups and assign them to this point light. So first let's uh, go ahead and rename this. We'll call this um, spec um, eyes 
and this indicates that we're just creating specular for these eyes. So in this object um, uh, outline, we go ahead and find our eyeballs. In this case, they're parented to the actual rig. So let's go ahead in here and find these eyeball groups. And here they are. This group right here, night eyes. And you can see that it's not affected by this uh, newly created light that we created. So let's go ahead and just select that. So now that those eye groups are only specific to this light. So let's go into our other camera and take another render and see where we're at. Okay, so now um, with that light in place, we can see that now we have some nice specular highlights within these eyes. And it actually looks pretty decent right now. And it, it just gives that illusion of, of where the light is and kind of hides our, our three-point lighting scheme. But as you can see, we've got some nice reflections inside that eye area and uh, around his eyeball right there. So <coughs> that's one. Uh, those are two techniques that lighters use when lighting their characters and just to kind of bring them to life a little bit with through lighting.